his shoulders to to play successfully here. Not only in just the landing stage, but to just stay in front of Ramsey's in farm, and that is something that's very hard to do with the new Ember Spirit. Dang, 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 mother... <laughs> what one thing, one thing we we should talk about is how good an AM is it? How catch they have? What are the odds of being caught out when he's usual AM split? Well, if we look at their draft, right? You have the you, really you do have Soulbind from Grimstroke if he gets Soulbind into an ally, right? You do have Roots from Ember Spirit, and you have the Blink Burrow mostly coming out from the Sand King. But once Anti Mage has a Manta style, this game becomes very difficult for Virtuous Pro. Like, they don't really have the ability to take down UR very easily. So, uh, do we expect a VP to, you know, that aggression on the air? They're like just trying to shut down the end. I mean, they're going to want to, but I don't think they will be able to. This top lane should go pretty well for you are. I I'm just following the VP smoke now. It has a oh, yeah. while left on it. Wrapping all the way around. Oh, still hasn't leveled, but can get a point in that blink. Oh him. boy. Level one actually into the Daring Chains and it's not going to net them the kill. I mean, you do force the blink, which honestly is going to change this lane matchup quite a bit. This is not ideal. Yeah, because you want the level one mana burn, because as you're saying, that's what makes him so strong against him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, having to go blink level one makes this lane a lot more difficult for you are. So that's, I mean, that's really, really, really nice from Virtuous Pro to realize that, apply, uh, apply that aggression, and now they give themselves a little bit of a lane advantage, at least until level two. Yo, ours just walking bottom. They're swapping lanes right away. Do you, do you think, is this honestly just a response to the fact that he's taking... I don't know. It's hard to say. Like, they... They could just be thinking that they're going to be ro like, keep putting the Ember Spirit top. And this could just be, like, them guessing. But I still think you, you would want the Anti-Mage against the Sand King. Overall, I think that lane is still better than going against the Ember Spirit. Okay, so Snake King's actually the wandering bottom, so it looks like uh, he's getting recalled back top. Yeah, so there's there's Pilot Eye pulls him back top once he sees the Sand King. Yeah, and and this is honestly the one of the great things about the Chen. It just means you know if you do have advantageous lane matchups, you can always get them without you. Mm -hmm. All right, so overall, I think forward gaming gonna be pretty happy with the lanes. I can't imagine that mid's going to go badly for CC and C. Yes, he'll just have to deal with Acid Spray, but OD is a hero that farms extremely fast as well. And, 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 and Ramses, the fact that he's taken level one in the... That's not ideal either. Uh, very often you want that fight of fist. Yeah, you either go Slide of Fist or you go the Flame Guard, and usually the Flame Guard, you pick that up to just try and shove the wave and give yourself um, like an XP advantage, and then you can go into like Slide of Fist or something along those lines. And going Searing Chain level 1 and doing that to try and secure that kill just not going to pay off for him. Centaur just being able to do whatever he wants as a result. So I guess both of these, that game kind of backfired for both teams, right, in, in an essence. Yeah, at least, at least with their level one skill. Mm -hmm. But you are, you know, now he's hit level two. Nothing's really true. Very old time. Even has a central. Get a bit more aggressive. And... I, Solo is going to be so terrified because with like a roll in from... Oh, he misses it. I was like, if MSS hits a roll in, they can definitely kill Solo with just the two of them. They'll have plenty of damage. Yeah, just bombing this big wave bit by bit. I mean, he's got 10 stacks of Retaliate now because Solo's just been clicking him. Top lane? Ooh, barely misses. Okay. They try to make a play with the Ink Swell, but not going to happen. Where is that? Oh. Uh, oh, it must be the Chen Creep. Yeah, I was like, what is going? What is that creep doing? Yeah, it was a Chen creep. That was funny. I assumed it was uh, bound to a camp. To only be killed by its mask. Highlight eye. No. Mm -hmm. uh, MSS is not rotating mid and no. 
Oh, it doesn't have... Yeah, now Pasha's lane top is, is very difficult. You are pretty much just free farming. And Pasha just sitting in lane with no mana. Can't farm, really. Uh, I'm just staying Ooh, watching good this scan. Game. Very oh, good scan. Now he knows exactly what's... Does have the salve, but he needs to be careful. Pretty sure if he... If... <laughs> oh, just he uses the courier to scout. The vision. Love that. that. Is top lane top? you are? Ooh, again, almost goes down. Yeah, so I like Dying might get this. The bar strike. Uh, well, especially with the rotation from MSS, they do have a sentry. They put it down, but it's instantly eaten by Roger, so they don't have to take from Pasha. And then the first what? Yeah, first kill on Roger and another kill for Pasha. Wow, what a play by Roger. I I was not expecting them to get both those kills, but as, as soon as that sentry came down, they just had the instant deal. It was just in range with the sentry they had. Uh, and he ate, and he ate it instantly. So it meant they couldn't uh, have the vision over Pasha. And Roger just with that amazing accuracy on his bait. So great trade on this. Dyer's top tower is being attacked. Like Pasha's got to be careful now. Yeah, he's just he sitting here in the wave. He's yeah, he's definitely dead. There's the lightning creep. <laughs> so he it does at least farm a little bit on the stack, but giving that kill to Pylai die, he'll be happy about that for sure. And five minute runes coming up, he should be able to secure. I, I assume no one will fight Pylai die. Yeah, well, Pasha's TP'd in as well. Pasha does have the start, they have no tension for that. Uh, it looks like it's just going to be two for two runes. Not as ideal as. Pasha realizes his. Yeah, it looks like no one kind of just doing his jungle thing as an elk. Pretty standard, what you would expect, but uh, really good place from Pilot Eye, kind of forcing him out, taking his farm as well. He just takes the centaur creep from the camp, and now he has to run to the other side of the jungle. Yeah, Ramsey's and taking. They just be left to their own devices, and then uh, surprisingly, it's loud Ramsey. Come out on top with an Ember Spirit. You really enjoy when you get left alone like this because all so level. In a stroke of I actually played this exact matchup earlier today. I was the Ember Spirit into a Centaur War Runner, and it feels super easy. There's not a whole lot Centaur can do. He doesn't have enough burst damage to really flame guard you mid lane. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, it was just an Astral uh, and highlight I uh, flanked. And so the Astral just sets up with the Centaur. Oh, he's actually got a point into the concoction. I'd be enough to save his life, he's still not level 6 for the Astral button, now that they've seen him. Going to be okay. Yeah, so we had an Astral Imprisonment from, from set up. Snaking so. bottom? Yeah, goes down, triple remnant. And so Ramses gets uh, a little bit of harass on him with just the, the flame guard and damage, and then just triple remnants him under tower. Gets an easy kill. Yeah, and they have vision over this region. Well, so Ramses, well, whatever mana he spent, he's going to get it right back. Ward doing well on the CS, but Parker, you know, this might be a top lane pin. I think overall, this has to be favoriting Virtuous Pro. Like, they're, they're, with how well Pasha's doing top, but top lane, great roll, and then the Centaur stop. Yeah, Pasha had the Inkswell on top of him. Is it enough to take down your one? He's wobble right kick, and he actually does get it. MSS really low. That was a really great counter initiation by Pasha, and Grimshaw gets the ink swell off just in time so that they can turn that fight. Yeah, Roger will be uh, happy. His his death most certainly worth it for that big kill on the end. So using uh, Roger's death to fill his bottle, so he'll have that mana and health regen as soon as he needs to be blood died, flank back. Have protection for this yet? Yeah, they do have a sentry down over here, but Roger, he's back, so you can't really Pasha at all. Gives him a nice little ball charge. Wow, Snake King actually stampedes away just out of fear that Ramses is going to dive him. And it's the same situation it was earlier, right? Snake King can't really contest this at all. He'll need like an early hood of defiance or a Vanguard. 
Top lane, they actually pull in CC and C. Yeah, they take CC and C, they have the dust, so now they've got Paco so, yeah, Roger, he doesn't have his TP. Penalties, but he pops his stick to get mana for the fire attack after. Big Cell and Lactal 2, they're all sitting inside the sandstorm. There's a lot of damage, but Pasha, the dust, lasted a little bit too long. Do they know where this Sand King's hit? Oh my gosh, he's just... Oh my gosh, Yobar has no idea. Are they going to scan for it? No, this is actually a rape. Clever. Wow, Roger and Pasha just playing amazingly. They got nothing out of it because I just... Levels in the sandstorm, they're just taking so much damage when they can't kill them. Yeah, I feel like you are might have played that a little bit too passive because he is he, like he didn't really want to like blink in out of fear of getting burrowed and and, and stunned up from the ink swell. And so they kind of he was just kind of relying on CC and C to, to just get that kill. But unfortunately for the him, Pasha just able to sneak away. Yeah, and it feels like this alchemist he. Uh, he even went for the double bracer build, just was able to stay in lane a little bit longer. Ember Spear Ramses is just pulling away at net worth right now. Sitting at 4,300 in front of his Alchemist, even. Wow, uh, I didn't realize he was ahead of himself. Oh, that's, yeah. that's pretty <laughs> This hero right? farms so fast, especially in a good lane. Middle tower is under yeah, and, and you can see his level advantage against... Devils ahead. This is this is certainly not what you were hoping. Take the OD to try and shut down the M. Exactly as I was saying, he's having an absolutely free game, but I think we might have a fight around these 10-minute bounty runes. And yeah, top lane looks like they're definitely getting ready, but Inkswell is going to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, and three time for the first pro. Nice little injection. Just two, actually. One was bottled. Oh, okay. I think. Yeah, because Snaking got one bottom and they got one top for forward. Highlight Giant MSS, they're around in the jungle. No one does catch vision of them. He doesn't care. He's got his ult up. He's not too worried about dying. Yeah, uh, Ramsey's with an invis, though. He's rotating over. I, I think they were just trying to contest these stacks a bit. Oh, Chen, you might have a sentry down, but I don't. That's it. The yeah. card with the. Uh, damage yeah this is this is a point where virtuous pros lineup is just going to start taking off i don't think ford has like as good of a start on ur as they'd wanted pasha did really well in that lane and snaking bottom has just been completely shut down by the Semper spirit ramses might be in a bit of trouble of the middle uh actually gonna be okay the pretty low mana and didn't have a defensive remnant able to make it safe Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Let's see, CC and C going for the first item. Veil vale has triple null. I'm about it. That's pretty cool. I think the Veil vale build is really interesting. He's actually getting recalled right now. Looks like they're making trying to make a gank on the Pasha. They have Stampede. They have detection. They do have a set screen there with the Shen Pasha able to fire strike himself into the tower. Is under is the but as soon as they see everyone on the tower, I think they're just banking. So they find themselves a good kill and they're going to transition this into the tower for sure. They have the catapult creep here. Top lane, Virtuous Pro trying to return the favor. So this is... Yeah, good rotations. Has that ever been called yeah, for this is something I really like that you see very good teams. They look to take these fights around the, the catapult way. Because nice. if you get a kill Dyer's around that 10-11, are... it's more than likely you could like nobody's business. Dyer's top tower is Ramses, under I think he has his full drops complete. Very early, uh, early for him. Fallen. and Oh, one, he's managed to get himself to number one in the network. I have his radiant pretty damn soon. Relic already on. Right. Yeah, he does have just the brown boots, but but you pointed out earlier the double bracer to help keep him alive. We should have the radiance here in the next like minute or two. CC and C trying to take mid tower, but they are going to afford it. Smoked up here on Roger and Solo as they move their way to the mid lane. A pile I die every time. He's they're just combing through, looking for stacks. This Chen has actually done a fairly good job. CC and C. Mid lane, they're going on him. 
Sandys comes out. The but... ultimate, the golem, as well as Inkcon's off it. They TP in with the sensor, but he's not able to get that boost off because he was stand up instantly. Now snaking, he's affected by the salt mine, and I don't think you're escaping for this round. These he'll have slight fist. Seconds, does he need that remnant? I just like the fist more than enough to take down snaking. There's two big kills here in this. Yeah, he TP'd right into a full full stun duration inkswell on <laughs> on Centaur, so not able to keep CC and C alive. Well, how is he doing? We're 13 minutes in and he only has the perseverance. Well, he did stop off the tread so that his It's gonna be a, a pretty slow battle through. Because he the lane just didn't go as well as he thought. Yeah, he does have double Wraith Band with the treads as well, so he's got a little bit more farm than what you would may like expect, like not like an ideal timed battle fury, but he can farm pretty quickly if he gets left alone. They're trying to find Pasha here and he will just oh my gosh, he has a blink dagger now. He just bought it. Yeah, but Snake King has a blink dagger dagger of his own. Goes into the trees, but they know exactly where he is. Sansom is coming up pull down by he's affected by the dust, so I don't think you're getting away from this. That's the second time they've made this big rotation bottom to try and find Pasha, and it's paid off, so... If they don't find that kill, it's a huge commitment for nothing. This is Stampede being used both times. They smoke up again right away, actually, which is very interesting. They just want to try and shut down this jungle. Yeah, this is where they think the Alchemist is... Bombing the like a broken That's they Bobby... Solo. That's well in. <laughs> the word. The Shadow Word. It's not going to save you. He got the ward. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's worth it, right? Your life for a ward? Yeah, of course. That was his mission, really. You know, he's just like, I want this ward. Dies for it. It's like, hey, at least I completed my mission, you know? Obviously, the side of uh, Ford Gaming, however, we're really hoping to catch the Alchemist. You know, he's got the Radiance now. He's shooting up through the net worth. They're getting bounty rooms. Uh, but I do have to praise what the side of Ford is doing. Just look at how aggressively they are. I mean, they're taking objectives. They've gotten two towers now, mid and bottom, and they've taken out a lot of the Radiant Jungle. Uh, this is really good of UR to keep playing down here because he he's not very easy to kill for Virtuous, for Virtuous Pro, but um, I don't know. I, I think, like he said, the Alchemist is going to be an issue here. He's just accelerating his farm so quickly. Just looking towards that mantle spell neck. Dyer's middle tower is under uh, do you expect to see a blink after that? I know uh, on some alchemists I've seen Radiant spreads this that they take advantage early Radiant. You know, no one a little bit more far more like Alright, mid tier to one. Easy claim. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. He actually how, finds himself a haste rune too. That'll be nice. How is our anti major? Okay, he's not that far away. Only needs another 400 gold and then a, a respectable about 17 minutes. He's getting smoked on right now. I believe. I don't think they saw the courier fly over. Oh, no, they did. Get the stun. Is that follow up? They do have golem if they want to drop it. They're actually holding on to golem just because they have the silence. Nah, Solo, he's making it. They have Stampede oh, available. Go for three-man stun. Taking a three-man stun, they roll in. Emmett does fire strike as well as the soul binds on them, but they are all affected by the magnetite. Now the Stampede will they can pull off. They're facing support, and they do manage to find Solo. As the Ember Spirit rounds, he is able to get himself to safety in the trees. Still affected by that Santee's eclipse. They roll forward. MSS, they haven't managed to find Ramsey's inside the trees, but they have an idea where he is. He's just cutting through the trees with the use of his planning base, and I think he is going to be okay. Unless you want to get Ramsey's as soon as he comes out. You are doesn't have the mana void. Is there any pull off? Oh, is... I don't know. Snake King's hunting him down. He's not going to let him shrine or anything, so he's going to have to go all the way to base. Yeah, but a very nice engagement from the side of forward. I, they tried to kill the anti-mage, but they, they, they just didn't come to it early enough, and then they commit it when he's, you know, not next to any heroes to have follow-up damage. It was it was really nice of snaking to wait until golem gets dropped like he he was very patient hiding behind the tree line like next to the tower and then as soon as golem drops he blinks and stuns three so there's no follow-up initiation stampedes his whole team forward to turn the fight it was is really smart play by him yawar not only survives but gets the money for his battle fury and now he's off to the farming races so gonna be catching up to the alch not gonna catch up to the alch but you know close the gap between an alchemist which is huge for an anti-mage and Pilot Diet feels like literally every time I'm looking at Ken, he's just aggressively 
Radiant Camp. He's, he's really removing a lot of this bomb. Uh, uh, that no one would want him. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It would appear top lane seeking to be able to take a tier one with the help of Pylai Die. Top tower has fallen. His creeps do so much damage. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, yeah, have the wolf, you have all the auras you could ever want. Yeah, just again, just bearing this Radiant Triangle and all the meanwhile, CC and C. But it feels like he's just had his entire Dire Jungle to himself. Mm -hmm. And this has been a lot of space for CC and C as well. He has been farming nonstop in the jungle and now has just a completed BKB 18 minutes into the game. So he just went Boots Veil BKB. He just wants to fight and no one on the side of VP can tell him otherwise at this point. I don't mean to be alarmist, Trying to defend, but Radiant's Radiant's tower is over here, top lane. In fact, they are thinking about setting up of him, snaking as well as that. I think it's a pretty attack. good idea that these. Strange to say, Radiant's so you see, he's pinging bot lane, asking for help, but they're just going to sack the tower. They're not going to be able to do anything. It yeah, you all cut the wave so they can't get anything up here to so. Well, you know, it's attack. exactly as you said, you know, he's so I far behind this Emphysphere of Ramses, who's had, you know, really a great laning phase. Uh, seems to have fallen back a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can see just farm top and jungle for like five minutes straight. And you are, once that fight happened, gets the Battle Fury. This hero takes off so fast. Uh, as well as the fact that the Radiant Courier was knifed by that and setting everything. No one That's is true. going for that BKB neck. Do you think this is a, an essential item next on this? The, Alchemist to allow him to maybe fight into this OD. Surprised he's not going for the blink. I think a lot of times you would go blink, but oh, we're gonna see an engagement here top or on the runes. Yeah, Stampy, but it's not enough to save. Actually, the hand of God. The pipe? Is he alive? Oh, okay, no, now he's dead. <laughs> but he lived for far longer than we thought he was. Uh, so yeah. He's starting up and stuff. They fight back over here on Snaking. Maybe we're having a bigger be able to face down the Alchemist. CC and Z is here. But here, but they found CC and Z instantly killed. He just got Burrow Strike and immediately died. And now this is turning terribly. Back for this, he doesn't have the active of his to stick down. They even throw down the Golos to stun up the Chen in the trees and massacre here. This was a disastrous fight for forward. If, if CC and Z gets the BKB off, like maybe, this fight doesn't go too bad because he can actually dish out a ton of damage, but gets immediately burrow striked instead. And so when, when that happens, like this fight's pretty much over. You buy back on the centaur and die anyway. That's really bad. Yeah, this Alk and the Emissary, they just weren't controlled in that fight at all. It's so unfortunate for the Tide of Forge. They're, they're OD who's meant to be there. Early game damage, you know, has even gone for the defensive item of the BKB. They're able to kill her in the duration of the fire strike. Yuar is obviously doing a good job of, you know, keeping up in his farm, passing all the waves, lit pushing as much as he can. But, you know, he's not really a threat. And, you know, he probably did the right thing not coming to that. Yeah, I mean, if you're playing anti-mage right now, the last thing you want to do is show up in a fight, die, and then not be able to farm. So he's just going to keep splitting the, the map as much as possible, trying to get this Vanta completed and online. If he gets to this like critical mass anti-mage, Alchemist cannot play his game. Like He just gets immediately killed by anti-mage anytime anti-mage finds him on the map. Like, it's a pretty insane difference of a game. Pasha sitting in the trees over there is affected. Oh, actually, that was the. A... <coughs> I thought they were looking. You are just continuing his pushing. Actually, enough money for the man. He found him. They found Pasha. MSS just rolled in, immediately connects, and pops the dust, and he just goes down. Yeah, uh, I'm going to be honest. I didn't expect the Sanging to die. I was just following. Uh... Following you are. I caught the tail end of the engagement, but I, I guess they knew exactly where he was. Oh, I just sandstorm. I mean, that was. I mean, that's just a good play by MSS. Just trying to just go for it anyway, right? Why not? No one has his BKB online, and it looks like they're thinking how. They just aggression. smoked right by each other. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not gonna fight. Alk walked probably. I would say 
just a hair outside of the smoke pop range of Ford gaming there. And had they been able to see that, I think that becomes a very advantageous fight for Ford because it was the Centaur who would have gotten the Blink Stun initiation. Do they have any full minus armor that can spray for this round? I don't believe so. It's about it. it. MSS, they're going to scout them with this courier. So they're going to realize what's up. They know exactly where they are. The Blink Ford is on to two. He does have the rock, but he's lining up. I don't know if he's going to be able to drop it. It's a triple red on the rock. It does come down in time. So they are able to take down the Earth Bricks. So low. He is very low. It's going to drop to CCC, but no one has a BKB of his own. Will they be able to take down the Earth Bricks? You are. He's pulled up. Into the air. Will be able to kill him. Yes, they will. This double damage. Meanwhile, they find highlights down the back line. CCC use his BKB. Is he going to be able to? Popping the drums to try and chase him. I think OD is fine. Another great fight for the side of BP. Yeah, there's not a lot of damage coming out from forward right now. The. Like, CCC pops his BKB and tries to turn into the Alchemist, and no one's like, yeah, well, I can play this game too, turns his BKB on, and OD just kind of runs around like, oh gosh, I don't know what to do anymore. So, it's just a pretty disastrous fight for forward when they don't get the jump on a hero that they need. They just don't have the lockdown otherwise. One thing I do have to point is how monstrous farmed no one is. You know, net worth advantage is not as much as you might think it would. By the VP, and oftentimes with Alchemist lineup, a much bigger lead. Yeah, I think a lot of that just goes out to Yoar's ability to try and find farm here around the map. But one thing that's is going to be scary is Ramses. Like he he doesn't. Ooh, are they going to find a kill here? They spotted Yoar for a moment. All right, not going to happen. Oh no, but the flowers strike in. They do have uh, a wall down. It looks like Highlight Eyes want who they're picking out. They're not going for the anti Highlight Eyes, the silence over here, but it doesn't really matter. Stampy back, Ramsey slides up his steering chain. They are going to get the kill onto Pilot Eye. In fact, no one's going to be I bit with that table control. Yeah, just fighting around these bouncy runes. Bouncy runes. Greg inside, and that does accelerate them forward further. Yeah, that Alchemist effect kicking in on that Grievous Greed. He just gets so much from each of these bounties, and he's got an AC pretty much completed, if I remember, it looks like it's on Courier. Yeah. So AC yeah. completed on Courier, just has BKB to and pretty much just allow him to do whatever he wants in these fights at this point. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, Agnes Epps is it? I'm looking at the side of Versus Pro and Honestly, amazing. Like every single Agnes scepter, no one could get is absolutely bonkers. Under attack, could change the game in itself. I think you just give it to the Ember Spirit, right? You just give him his first Agnums, and then suddenly, like Ember Spirit is pretty much unkillable. Like that hero does so much with an Ags. Yeah, but you know, as well, first as an anti major, I can't think of a better target for the Agnum than just the longer disable of the. No, if this game goes incredibly late, I think team they're gonna have a fun time of it. CCC trying to steal something. Oh, he's stunned up. The God Strength is it enough? No, not even able to pop his BKB. Just frontlining on the on the OD, just thinking he's getting free intense. Fun. That is certainly not the case. You have the Spirit Vessel, but you know everything they're using. No one's first fight. This is a buyback on CC and C, and they're not really getting anything for it. He doesn't get the BKB off again. He oh. does get the BKB off in time. The Santi is good. It evaporates the Sanking, and now no one. He might be in trouble. Is I think gonna lose the first life of the ages. The meanwhile, Yuwa's anti mage has been flipped. Got late, but it looks like he's not going for the racks. He wants to cut some people off. Another clean faked out. It looks like they don't need it for that, but I take that back. He's able to roll away to safety. All right. I mean, you are putting off a lot of pressure. I believe he got... I don't know if there was a tower there. Yeah, there was. Yeah, so he got the tower in the top lane. Yeah, that, I, I'm honestly a bit surprised you are came back when he... Definitely think he done some uh, tier 3 chip damage in return for losing that. I'm surprised that they kind of, I don't want to say held, because they did lose melee, but they didn't lose more, I suppose. I think 
I think Ford, they're struggling a lot in these fights. It just seems a little bit uncoordinated compared to Virtuous Pro, who just kind of just take the fights on their own terms and, and kind of run over Ford, to be honest. Like, uh, the fights just seem so awkward for, for Ford Gaming. Uh, they're literally just chasing the map for the bus. Oh, you want another courier? Got recalled just in time. Right. <laughs> The courier almost just walked over. So they'll be, be happy about that if they. But now shrines are open because. Um, one thing they do probably need to get on. To extreme violence. Because you are is great job at his bit. I really like no one's build here. He's actually going for the abyssal blade. Just more lockdown, which. Honestly, why not? In a game like this, you're so far ahead. Lockdown is gonna win you these games. Allows you to, to also stun OD through his BKB. And if you're able to get on top of the anti-mage, you'll have that Abyssal Blade uh, active as well. Yeah, you are, looks like he is now going for the full place bit hood. TP's back, but I don't think Ramsey's back. Well, he's just manning up, hitting these tier threes. Oh, okay. it's done. Doesn't connect, thanks. Well, they can't over here. Get back to No one pops his BKB. Are they going to be able to catch anyone else? The Mara Strike there for Pasha as well as the Soul Bind. Making the Golem here over here on Solo, but that Are they not going to find anyone? Line. I think Solo might be caught with Silence on him. They, they've got to know he's. Yeah, yeah, we'll get him. <laughs> They'll get Solo at long last. I mean, for TPing out in their face as a as the Alk, that's pretty pretty sketch for the rest of his team, right? They they're like, uh, okay, thanks for abandoning us. We'll just be we'll be back later. But Pasha actually blinks out, avoids the dust bottom, so he's gonna be fine. Yeah, no one uh, just hitting his way towards his abyssal blade. Roger was, they were all so lucky there from the side of versus. Side of four, they you know they made a very good decision. Now's our time where we could turn around. No, they're losing a five position for that. I guess you're okay with that. other tier three. Yeah, I mean you are definitely farming very fast, but not able to contribute a lot to the game so far. Is just cutting waves constantly. I do feel is at that point where he is ready to fight if he. Anti-Mage, when you have three items, that, that really feels like that's when you're okay Radiant's getting involved. Oh, yeah. And he, I mean, he's taking two tier two towers by himself, and he's got an interesting build. Ooh, actually stunned in the mid lane. They find roots from oh, baby. He does get the soul bind as well as the virus right now. Go on top of them. It's the double stun. Are they going to have enough to be able to take down the world? Anti-Mage, yes, they will. That epic sends the pot off, and now CCNC by himself. I don't think you're going to be able to get away. No, no bash. One, no bashes. Take it back. CCNC able to escape, but over here they found MSS. Don't get barely close. Ten of that X12. Radiance bottom tower is well, under attack. Has that ever been? That uh, does not look good for Ford. We, we we were just saying, you know, it might be the time for Anti Mage to get involved in this game, and his involvement turns into a death. And now your high ground's going to be under siege again. They're probably going to have to force the buyback here. Yeah, uh, one thing I do have to praise is uh, just Roger almost going down gets that absolutely brilliant soul bind. Targets the Sentinel correctly instead of the anti mage you have to counter uh, the counter spell shield. It just means they just get all these uh, double suns and all that control. Yeah. Wow, that is a, the fastest abyssal. Yep, uh, over here you are. He's trying to buy up there. Another buyback over here from the Sentinel. He's trying to get one. He's trying to visit, bounces back. Then no buyback here for the but channel crouch back, but they're just being forced back to their well. Meanwhile, the side is another the rack. Sun as well as the soul bind. They've got the channel once again. Pilot, thank you, Pilot. But the double stuff, the soul bind is on top of all them. The slice pit saving chain. They've just lost absolutely everyone, and they call GG. Who are just sitting in his base and VP on the back of no one's like, I've done it. They've taken game one. This was just. I don't want to say a, a stomp, but definitely an outclassing by. IVP here. Like everything went in their favor, even though I thought forwards lane matchups.